Hi, my name is Payne Farmer, and today I'm going to be giving an introduction to Chainlink and decentralized oracles, or just oracles for short. So the first thing we're going to talk about is what exactly Chainlink is. Uh, it's a really big meme currency, not to say that it is a real meme, but like you'll see a lot of memes of it pretty much everywhere, especially like Twitter, Reddit, and a few other places. Um, I'm drawing the logo right now, and it's a beautiful artistic rendition, but what Chainlink does and what all oracles do is they take off-chain data and they bring it on the chain. And keep in mind, Chainlink's been around Ethereum since it first got created. I mean, it was mentioned in Ethereum white paper and it solves one of the most important issues of you know, Ethereum. And that is how do you get data from like, you know, the real world, such as like, I don't know, the value of one US dollar or you know the changing value of ethereum across all markets or like for like weather data how do you get that and bring it onto blockchain if you want that to become the new internet and that's what they do i'm not really going to go too far into the technological side of it and kind of just explain what it does and then i'll make a video in the future that's going to be like a lot longer than this one that talks about how you can make your own oracle and that's going to be in my dev series um so Chainlink was made by sergey nazarov He's a pretty big guy. He's a Russian guy. And, um, you know, there is a reason to believe that he might be Satoshi Nakamoto. Because, you know, Sergei Nazarov, S, N, Satoshi Nakamoto, S, N. But, uh, you know, it's just kind of a meme. He's a very rich guy, and he made Chainlink. And you go to the website, chain.link. You see, like, they do developer grants. Like, all random number generations or most on Ethereum are used, are made using Chainlink, VRF, which means that it's provably random for, like, coin flips. This is their data feeds. If I can, yeah, now it likes me explore. And as you can see, it shows the price of, like, Ethereum and Bitcoin and Link and USD and DAI. And the way these prices, like, they take this price and then it's plugged into something like Matcha. And Matcha is an aggregated DEX or decentralized exchange. And it basically just puts it in the smart contract so they know how much you can trade one ETH for and one DAI for if you're tying it to a certain value. And this is not counting liquidity pools. And that kind of goes more into it later on. But all you have to know is what Chainlink and what all Oracles do is they take off-chain real-world data. So like, you know, I don't know, weather and they bring it onto the blockchain. So like ETH, they'll take it and they'll put it on ETH. That's about it. I hope you like this little guide and some you know, conspiracy theories. I hope you have a great day. This has been Payne Farmer. Make sure you join the YouTube, not the YouTube, the Discord, and uh, have a good one. Thanks.